Hi guys, it's been a while. Hope you've all been well, coping well during these times. <laughs> um, sadly, I haven't gotten anything from um, Right Stuff in a while. I've ordered so much, honestly, I've ordered a lot of things, but I either, it's because, you know, they're behind or whatever the case may be, but, you know, with... Uh, limited staffing and all but the fact is I haven't received anything in I guess since this started and um, around since I'm gonna say May right April May and I have like eight orders pending but nothing's been sent out so I don't know what's going on I'm kind of thinking of calling and asking because Everything that I've ordered is stuff that was kind of like on sale, limited print. Because there's this one thing I got with a box set and it was like final clear clearance. So I don't know. I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to call and be like, oh, just, you know, wondering and, you know, what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. But so that's why I haven't made any videos during this quarantine because I'd, I don't have anything to show for it. And yeah, but I did get this box today. It's just a couple of shoes that I ordered from Hot Topic. And yeah, so let's go. At least a little something for entertainment today. I um I had ordered a pair earlier, but they were too big. So I had to return them and they sent me the replacement. So hopefully these are a better fit. I hope so. <laughs> Alrighty. So I got their Kingdom Hearts shoes. They are amazing, let me just say. They are like faux leather. Oh my god, they're so awesome. Yes. Let me see. They look a little too big still, but oh no, they are too big still. Ah, <laughs> yeah, they're still too big. Ah, okay, well, so that's that. I have to send them back again, I, I, cause I wasn't sure about how the sizes ran. They were telling me, oh, size, cause I I get like an eight and a half, nine, so they're like, oh, so a size seven should be good because they double up or something. But no, it's still way too big. So I'm going to have to return these too. God damn it. Anyways, um, they're, they were on a huge sale. They were great. They were originally $40 and I got them for $15. So I was like, steal. Seriously. Um, yeah, this is all I got. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed because they're still too big, even though I thought they were going to be, like, oh, I thought they were going to be smaller. Anyways, they're amazing. If you get a chance to get it, definitely size down to... Oh, well, maybe not, actually. Maybe I just measured wrong. They don't look too big now. Anyways, I'll have to try them on. Like, actually try them on. But... Yeah, they're pretty great. I saw them and I was like, ooh, I haven't owned any Kingdom Hearts type, like, wearable merch aside from, like, a shirt and a sweater. But I've seen people that have, like, uh, the shoes, like, different types of shoes, right, and, like, purses and stuff. Like, I own a bag, but it's hardly even considered Kingdom Hearts. All it has is a symbol on it, the heartless symbol on it. But it's not very obvious, obviously, and it doesn't have any characters or anything like that. So I didn't really consider it one because nobody knows what it is, you know, unless you're a fan and you see it. So, yeah, but this is pretty amazing. I love the the material of it. It actually feels like it feels good. Like, it's not going to hurt. It's not stiff. It's very, like, you know, bendable and... Yeah, I think it's going to be comfortable. Um, but yeah, this is all I have. <laughs> Again, I've been waiting for all of my right stuff things to come in. I, I have a lot, I, and I'm not even kidding about that. I probably, I'm probably going to get a humongous box by the time they ship it out. 
but I mean I'm just waiting I just, there's nothing much I can do but wait you know anyways again I hope you guys have been coping well you know crazy times I I'm gonna go back to work in about two weeks so I don't know I'm a little nervous because I work at a theme park and people come from all over the world to theme parks you know what I mean so I don't feel comfortable going back to be honest if they allow us to wear masks for sure that's, that's a must I'm pretty sure they're all doing that because Disney Orlando did that so I'm pretty sure they're going to require that but I'm kind of I want to wear a visor too because obviously you know spittle or whatever travels in the air it's not like if someone sneezes it goes it travels you know what I mean so I kind of want to wear both the visor and the mask I don't know what they're going to require of us what they're going to allow or not allow I'm going to find out in about two weeks when I go back for training because I don't know if you know this but when you work at a theme park uh, especially for my theme park um, you have to train or pseudo train whatever every three months um, we call it compliance like compliance with the state the, you know the county or whatever so we're, we're all out of compliance because it's obviously been more than three months or just about we all quit, stopped working around March 13th so it's definitely been a long time since we've been there so we're just going to go back for training and for, to train on our new um, segment trainings, which is going to be all the masks, how we're going to enforce the masks and all that. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be very interesting. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, again, I'm so sorry. I haven't really done anything, any videos. I've cleaned up the house a lot. We set up our turtle tank, which I'll show you actually. One sec. So this is our turtle tank. It's all set up and here he is. Yes, it's finally all set up. It's a 40 gallon uh, breeder tank. So it's actually huge because we had two turtles, but see it's pretty, it's wide. It's pretty wide. But yeah, since we um, moved here, in our new place a little a while ago uh, well not that long ago but since we moved here uh, we had to have them in a temporary tank which was like super small it was basically a, a plastic bucket you know and well the other one which was smaller he got stuck under the filter somehow I think she ended up or he ended up coming under the rock and he got stuck between the filter and the rock but in the other one that was super small you know and my sister because these are her turtles but when she put them like that she didn't think he would get stuck I suppose because they've always they're, they've always been fine even when they were in the small tank so she just didn't think anything of it when she left them but one day when she came back from work she saw that the little one you know had died and had gotten stuck and drowned so he's been all alone this whole time but, I mean, he's more or less happy. He finally has his big tank. Now it's all to himself. Pretty sure he misses him, but... Yeah, he has his big tank. So this is kind of what we did. So the house is a mess. My room is finally... I'm not going to show you because it's a disaster. But my room is finally coming together. My final shelf, because I got rid of the other one that I had that was shit... It was because it was it was one of those you know you know the Walmart ones the Target ones they're all fucking plywood and they're disgusting and they all just bend you know the shelves and have a lot of manga <laughs> I, I mean you've seen my videos I order a lot of stuff so all my manga most of them were in bins under my bed or in the closet or even in storage because I just have so many but the ones that I did have at the house they were in a small shelf and the shelves were bending because it couldn't support the weight. So I was really just trying to find a shelf that I liked that I could, you know, that would support the weight. And I finally found one yesterday at Target that was on sale. So I jumped on it and I got it. So I'm waiting for that to arrive and I'm finally going to be able to do that. So today I'm just going to clean up a whole bunch, but I'll finish cleaning up a whole bunch because I'm getting ready for, to have it in. And I'm going back to work soon. So now I'm like, oh, I'm cr it's crunch time. You know, I got to finish all this. 
I know I should have ordered it right when it started, right? But I wasn't thinking that. I was just thinking, okay, I just gotta, you know, find ways to entertain myself. And so I played my video games. <laughs> That's really what I've been doing. I've been playing uh, Final Fantasy Remake, and I've been playing um, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy X and Ten Two. No, I got stuck on Ten Two. I hate that spear grid. I had to get a hundred per or uh, hundred yeah hundred percent perfect ending to get Titus to come back. You know, I have to pass this specific part where I have to beat Shinra and I'm just stuck on it because I hate it I hate that game I can't do it Ugh. so I kind of dropped it and I started trying to um, platinum remake and I'm almost there I'm finally on chapter 17 I'm also doing the uh, simulator battles Ugh, I'm so gl close to getting the that one special one that has the Celtic name or the Norse name. It looks like, oh my god, I can't even pr pretend to pronounce that. I don't want to butcher it. I'm sorry. That one starts with a G. <laughs> the ultimate, uh, um, what's it called? Not the weapon. The what's it called armor that gives you uh, limit boost at the beginning of battle and lets you get it quicker or whatever. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I've been doing, guys. Um, sorry again that I haven't really done anything else. Thank you for staying on my channel, though, and thank you for watching this, and I'll see you all next time when I finally have something to open up for you guys, and oh, when I can finally show off my shelf, too. But yeah, uh, again, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there, wear a mask, wash your hands, <laughs> and I'll see you all next time. Bye.